60,000 fans are here along the Monongahela for what should be a fantastic game. Football from Mountaineer Stadium in Morgantown is coming up. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 24-yard line. The Jayhawks and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is it, you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week, is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. And down he goes, right around the 28-yard line. around the 37 yard line the middle linebacker came on a blitz which can be very disruptive sometimes a quarterback will get happy feet when they see that coming but not this guy he's very composed and can deliver under a pass rush. and he's tackled at the 38 second and nine coming up here ball on the 38 five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun Strike to his receiver, no good. And they make the stop at about the 47 yard line. Close to a nine yard pickup there on the slam. White, the return man. The, nope, they snap into the up back. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. You can bet that the quarterback is smiling over there on the sidelines. Let's see if they do something with the ball now that they have another shot at it. First down, ball right around midfield, and they're moving the ball very well on this drive. Brought down at the 44-yard line. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss, but this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. It's the ninth play of the drive. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle made at the 22. You know, the play-action pass that time delivers a huge play. And I think the defense was out of position. There was a one-on-one -on -one opportunity on the outside, and they took advantage of it. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. From the 22-yard line, second down. Fires to the wideout, first down. He's taken down around the 10-yard line. Kirk, he's really got a lot of confidence in his receivers. Yeah, I think he does, but in this case, I think he just threw it up for grabs. He thinks his receiver can make the catch no matter how many guys are hanging on his back. This is the 12th play of this drive. Caught out 
out in the open. He steps out at the eight yard line. They're at the eight. Second down. Now he's flushed and they got him. A great defensive end in, in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he's shoved out of bounds right around the 12-yard line. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kansas is looking to go up by three. Might have been some early movement up front. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. They'll bring him down at the 19-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Bring him down at about the 15-yard line. Loss of four on the play. That makes it second and 14. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on their own 15. Ready! Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down around the 26-yard line. That makes it third and three. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Wideout makes the first down catch. He's tackled at about the 37-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Fox takes the give. Gets to about the 37-yard line. And once again, they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Horton was the intended target on the play. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Straw is the punter. He really got a hold of that one. And he's tackled at the 26. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. Kansas has a three-point lead. Quick throw, picked off. Inside the 30. Touchdown, Mountaineers. was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. And he adds.
adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. It, this college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in the college game, you've got to come out and play with your hair on fire. And we've seen that from both of these defenses so far. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. Brad, I know they turned the ball over the last time that they were out here, but it's important for these guys to remember they still have the lead here. Even though the momentum right now might be facing against them, they've got to be able to just settle down and find some confidence in being able to reestablish who they are. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone by him that time. Yeah, the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. Throws this one out to the left. Incomplete. Almost picked off. White is the deep man awaiting the return. Brought down at the 46-yard line. Let's get some points going right now. Not a lot of offense here in the opening quarter. I'm with you. I like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point. Give credit to the defenses, but I think you're going to see both these offense coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play calling. So they're just about set to get the game going again. West Virginia holds a four-point lead. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. From their own 46-yard line, second down. They come out in a five-wide set. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Second down and five. Ball on the 36-yard line. Set. Green 19. Hot. Green 19. Hot. They'll work the right side. He takes it right side for a good game. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll bring up third and inches. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And they get nice yardage on that run. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 26. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. That brings up second and 13. West Virginia is up four. Throws it in a hurry. And he's immediately tackled. And here's another third down. Inside the 10. What a play to set him up with a first and goal.
This is the ninth play of this drive. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine play, 54 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. West Virginia's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. They need to show a little giddy-up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Gives it off. Tackled for a loss. So it's second and 12. All on their own 23. They go to the back and he's hit immediately in the backfield. Five wide. goes out of bounds around the 30-yard line. And he's taken down at the 39. There are three quarters remaining. The Mountaineers in front by 11. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He scrambled, got the corner. He's at midfield, decides to slide. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 43. Ready! Red 68! Conrad! Throws complete. He's got space to work. And down he goes. Right around the 36-yard line. And he's met immediately. That is a loss of four yards. That makes it third and seven. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. That's a great tackle. It's the 37 yard line. The kick is up, and he missed it to the right. All it takes is a split second of something going wrong. A low snap, a bad hold, a slip, and you've got a miss to the right or the left. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. 
Phillies tackled after positive yardage. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he is drilled at the 41-yard line. There's a strike complete. Brought down around the 48-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. And he's tackled at the 38-yard line. That's good for a game of 10 yards. That brings up second and one. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. First and 10, ball on the 36. Quick throw, incomplete, one on his receiver. That makes it second and 10. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's scrambling. Tackle around the 34-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. Throws it. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. They can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It's up. Not a very good attempt there by the kicker. So we'll change possession with a score 14 3, West Virginia. They're set to go for another round. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. First and 10, ball on the 44-yard line. the ground with the tailback and they make the stop at about the 45 nowhere to go for the halfback that's a loss of one throws it out there tipped away you know that actually might have been a break for the offense. Sometimes tip passes can linger in the air and get picked off. Third down now, they need to get it down to the 34. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Got a man in and out of his hands. Wilson, back to return it. Neal's performance for his team generally reflects how the team is going to play. And unfortunately for them right now, that's what they're seeing. Here. And Brad, I just think they've gotten so accustomed to waiting to see how their star player plays that they've gotten used to just riding him all the way to the finish line. And 
here's a case where he's not necessarily playing his best game and they're struggling. And I think this is where you find out really what the team is made out of because you need somebody else to step up and take some of the pressure off your star player. Second and six. Ball on the 18. They'll spread the field with five wide. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. And the safety with the interception. They'll bring him down at about the 19-yard line. That's the last thing they needed to happen was an interception. They're trying to fight to get back into this game, and to have that miscue, now it's really up to their defense to try to help them out. From the 19-yard line, first down. He's tackled around the 11 yard line. Let's go. Run. Here's a running play. He's taken down around the 13 yard line. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Slings it. Tackle made at about the nine-yard line. So the booth is trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. So they're going to try and determine exactly where the ball was when he went down. So after review, they'll change the spot of the ball and we'll play football again. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Let's go! Line 80! Come on! And he's taken down at about the seven yard line. That brings him second and goal. They come out on an empty backfield. Touchdown, Mountaineers! That gives him another touchdown to go along with the one he scored earlier. This guy has great vision out of the backfield. Even if a hole isn't there, he's patient enough to wait for one to open, and then he hits it. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Hands it off. And he carries the ball for a nice game. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball in the 29. Neal off the left side. Three yard gain by the running back. That makes it 33. Man left, man left. 
They come out in a five wide set. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Number 15 on the tackle at the 40 yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 40 yard line. First down. Give to the tailback. Gets to about the 41 yard line. He has some room. And he tackles him hard at the 44. Yeah, I'm not shocked to see him have a chance to run the football. I remember being out of practice earlier this week, and one thing that became very clear is this wide receiver not only can make great plays in the passing game, but they're going to try to do what they can on reverses and different things to get him the football. And here's an example of what he can do and how explosive he can be. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down again. And he's level at the 35. And the halfback picks up nine yards on the delay. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. And that's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Makes a move, and he's in for the touchdown. Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. And he adds the extra point. Kansas, ready to kick this one off. Fields it at the two. Makes it to the 22-yard line. West Virginia has done what they had to do offensively. They've done a nice job here in the first half, partner. Boy, it's been very consistent for them, and consequently, they have a nice lead here going into halftime. But again, they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight because this offense that they're facing across the line of scrimmage on the other side of the ball, they can score in a hurry. So there's still a lot of football to be played. Inside handoff. Nice run, and he's brought down. They're about four yards away here on second down. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 21-10, West Virginia.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Ms. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both teams wanted to establish a running game. Both teams were stubborn in trying to do so, and neither team was successful. Did you get the sense the defense knew what was coming? Hey, dude, first and 10 means run. Yeah, I think, I think when you do it every single time, it doesn't really uh, make it hard for a defense to figure out. You can become much more aggressive. you got to take some chances. I, you want to stick with the run. You want to have that balance. But if you don't push the ball down the field, then I never have to honor it. So mix in some first down passes and runs. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 29. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of three on the play. That brings up second and 13. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 26. Here we go! Check, check! Tiger! Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. I love the blitz, but the quarterback did a really good job of seeing it and reading it, and then standing tall in the pocket to find his man for the first. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. He's at the 30, and down he goes at the 20-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. From the 20-yard line, first down. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down at the 19. That brings up second and nine. Running! Red 68! Red 68! Motion, motion, motion! Up the middle. He fights forward to about the 19. Here's third and nine. Ball on the 19-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 10-yard line. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. 
And he's tackled at the 10. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. They line up at the 10. It's second down. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. White, back deep to return. White, fields it at the 42. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He scrambles. Tackle right around the 46-yard line. Call his own number on that one. I like the idea of trying to run here, but the defense really made him pay the price for trying to run. From the 46-yard line, second down. And they make the stop right around the 44-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That'll make it 35. Let's go! Draw play. Taken down in the backfield. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. They hit him in the backfield. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. From their own 16-yard line, second down. Fires out to his wideout. Good open field tackle. He gets sacked on the play. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. And that'll be three and out. Fourth and long here after the sack. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he can't hang on to the ball. And he's tackled at the 43. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Throws to the back quickly, off his hands, incomplete. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. Scrambling around. 
They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He's got an opening. And he has it on the corner. And they push him out around the 18-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 18-yard line. Now he's scrambling. They'll make the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. And he's taken down at the 16. Gaining three yards. That'll bring up third and eight. And here's another third down. He's taken down at the nine. He's tackled around the six-yard line. West Virginia with a first and goal and a big opportunity here to really open this game up. Touchdown, West Virginia! He makes the PAT, an eight-play, 44-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So our score, 28-10. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Tackle at the 20. West Virginia's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Tackle made at the 22. It's second and nine. Ball on their own 22. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Five wide. Rose incomplete, knocked away. Well, the execution here is very good by the offense. The quarterback did a nice job of reading the defense, put the ball in a position to be able to make the catch. The problem is the wide receiver did not focus and concentrate and hold on to the ball. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. Ah! 
Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. They come out in a five-wide set. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That brings us fourth and seven. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Makes the first down catch. And down he goes. Right around the 48-yard line. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That makes it first and 10. They'll spread the field with five wide. Got a man, watch out here. And he is drilled at the 36. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. From the 36-yard line, it's second down. So with one quarter remaining, West Virginia leads it 28-10. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick out to his receiver. Brought down at the 27. Number 15 brings him down at the 27 yard line. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 27. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. They're about four yards away here on third down. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he's tackled at about the 11. Number 20 makes the tackle at the 11 yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Throws in a hurry. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. From the 11-yard line, second down. They try running left, tackled for a loss. The entire defense just collapsed on that run and got penetration into the backfield. Nice job by the safety to clean up the mess. This is the 10th play of the drive. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. 
Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Fires to the end zone. Picked off. Unbelievable. This defense just continues to impress. This just must feel like a bad dream to this offensive coordinator. Nothing has gone right today, and his quarterback is really off target. Makes it to the 31. From their own 31-yard line, first down. Makes it to the 41. That's a game of 10. That'll make it second in inches. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at the 49. From their own 49-yard line. First down. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop at the 41. receiver and he can't make the grab so it's third down and they're just inches away from picking up the first down he's hit and taken down And this play is number eight on the drive. Ready, ready, one. One. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. the 19 yard line it's first down five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun he gets out to about the eight tenth play of the drive he's gonna try and scramble They'll bring him down at about the five-yard line. Green gets three yards on that scramble. That brings up second and goal. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the five-yard line. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Set, on the pass, touchdown. He hits the PAT. An 11 play, 80 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. Sends it sailing downfield. West Virginia to kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Throw to the tight end and in and out of his hands. From their own 25 yard line, second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He scrambled, and he's going to be sacked. He has one job on passing situations, get to the quarterback, and he did that job very, very well on that play. So that sack leaves them a little ways to go here. It's third down and 13. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires across the middle, and he's taken down at the 34. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. Gets to about the 37-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 37. West Virginia comes to the line. They got a big advantage in this one. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. That'll bring up third and eight. He's taken down at the 47. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 47. Gets out to around the 45. That brings in second and one. Nice run, and he's brought down. First and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That makes it second and eight. it up the middle for a nice run. And this is the eighth play of the drive. West Virginia up by a bunch. Tackled after a decent pickup. Mercifully, this one is over. West Virginia, 35, Kansas, 10. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.